Good morning, guys. Welcome to the channel. Got my juice ready to go. Um, so in today's episode, I'm gonna be going a little bit over uh, my motor that I pulled out of the 135i, also the transmission. Gonna be trying to see if I can inspect the motor today and see what's actually what went wrong with the motor. Um, so I can get that sorted out and get the new parts installed and put it back on the motor. So here I have the motor that I pulled out yesterday. Um, I'm gonna be taking all the turbo manifold, all the pulleys, the coolant hoses off, the valve cover. Um, then I'm gonna be throwing it on the engine stand. Let's try to see if I can inspect the timing chain, guys, which I think is what went out. Uh, but if it is a connecting rod bearings, then we'll be getting into that as well. Also have the transmission, which I also pulled out yesterday. The transmission is gonna have to get cleaned up and any of the bushings and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get inspected to see if, uh, if there's anything externally I should change out. As you can see, the transmission is really dirty right now. A bunch of grease, oil that just built up over the years. So I'm gonna try to get all this cleaned up, make it look much nicer. And then after that, I'm gonna see how bad these are here. I'm gonna have to replace them with new ones, even though I might go with a short shifter um, or an RTD shifter. So we'll see about that. But yeah, let me get this cleaned up and then I'll show you guys uh, after. So to clean the transmission, what I'm gonna be using today is just gonna be some uh, brake cleaner. I got this stuff at AutoZone. It's pretty cheap. Uh, it works really good cleaning any uh, grease or oil. So yeah, I'm just gonna get started with that. And then if I need to, I have a little brush that I'll be using as well. Yeah, I guess it's a good spray. So as you guys can see, most of the oil and grease is now gone. Transmission actually looks really clean for what it is. Um, I'll be doing a little bit more cleaning later on, right before it goes in. For now, it should be work just fine. Now it's time to get the motor up in the air, get the engine stand out. Uh, I'm gonna be putting on the engine stand and start checking out the motor. So my camera kind of took a shit on me, so I wasn't able to record the process of me taking off the oil pan off, uh, taking the rod bearings off, taking the valve cover gasket off, and inspecting the timing chain. Uh, so I'll just kind of show you guys what I what I discovered and what I found. Um, so yeah, let me show you guys real quick. All of the rod journals look good, um, visually wise. I'm still gonna have to measure them. Um, just make sure that they they're within spec still. As far as the timing chain guide goes and stuff like that, I was messing around with this one here, checking it out. Uh, the ones for the oil pump, they look fine. I'm still going to take them off and replace them because I'm already here. I got the valve cover off. I was trying to look at the timing chain up here, see if anything looked bad, if anything looked worn. Uh, everything looked fine. I'm thinking I'm still going to take off the head. Uh, probably do a new uh, head gasket and uh, probably air people studs while I'm at it. Uh, but we shall see. All of the guys, they look fine. I'm still going to replace them, but they look good so far. These are the bearings that came out of the engine. 
they're all pretty worn, but they're no scoring on them. Um, they look, they obviously don't look good, but there's nothing you can catch your fingernail on. So, yeah, I think um, probably just polishing the crank and new bearings, and it should be good to go. So, it was definitely not a rod knock, whatever was making that sound. So, I'm still going to have to figure out what was making that sound. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Um, I didn't get a whole lot done today, but I was kind of procrastinating, which is fine. Um, on the next episode, I'll update you guys on whatever I found out about the motor as well as i'll try to have some clips in of me doing a little bit more work um but yeah that's gonna be it for today guys um if you guys made it to the end thanks for watching um go ahead and subscribe i have a lot of con content coming up on the 135i got a lot of parts going on to it a lot of how to's on a lot of parts i'm gonna be selling also on the e30 it's pretty close to starting up so once that happened you guys don't want to miss that it's been parked for a long time. So it's going to be pretty, pretty badass. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And see you guys next time. Peace out.